Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim Shaves and today it's going to be an interesting shave. I got a bit more growth than the usual. Three days of growth. Just enough to mow it all down. Hope you guys are having a good day. Some great shaves. I uh, hope you guys are staying safe from the virus and I know um, the East Coast have gotten a lot of snow as well. Some people were saying they got like up to 22 inches of snow, which is just ridiculous. Out here in the West Coast, uh, yeah, we got some, we still got sunshine in. Not a single side of snow. So I hope you guys are staying safe and well for the holidays. And today, ooh, <laughs> it's gonna be an interesting shave because I'm gonna be trying out a lot of new products. Uh, one, that, one product that you're not supposed to use for shaving, but I'm gonna try out anyways. And this is gonna be Bear Sturman's Hand and Body Soap, Seville. The scent is really good. I was a bit hesitant on getting Seville as shave soap, <clears throat> so I got the body soap instead. And it's nice. It uh, reminds me of Mike's Natural Lime Soap, with just a bit of more depth to it. But. Yeah, I'm just not sure <clears throat> if this shape soap is going to be similar to this. Um, but so far, I'm enjoying it a lot. And I got it lathered up uh, using the Craving Shaving Gaia brush. Very colorful, bright. <clears throat> the lather, as you can see, it's a bit bubbly. Uh, but once I work it in, I found that uh, it actually works fairly well. But from the looks of it, you could kind of tell it's a bath soap but <clears throat> I think to be honest I think it lathers better than Mitchell's wool fat <laughs> so and maybe Williams I know Williams could lather well I've um I've done it before but I don't know this seems pretty good and I've I've practiced with it yesterday and it didn't dry out my face even when I face lathered and it seemed, um, it seemed like a good, like a basic shave soap that is a high quality body soap. But like, as I mix it in, you guys can see it's not too bad. There is some creaminess to it. And if I look at the ingredients, which is right here, um, it has tallow, beef tallow as its first ingredient, water, coconut oil, sodium hydroxide, castor oil, glycerin, shea butter, fragrance and vitamin E. Only an ingredient that I don't see in shave soap is castor oil. I think that's what makes it a bit more bubbly instead of uh, turning into a creamy dense lather, but it's not too bad actually. So let's see how it goes. Today I'm gonna be testing that out. I don't think this is a good idea, but I'm gonna do it anyways with a new razor. This is the infamous Mule or Mula R41. I know um, this model is called uh, R102, but it's basically R41 head with a uh, plain white handle. So R102 or R41. Um, here, this is supposed to be a really aggressive razor, but I have a, <clears throat> I have a feel that it's gonna be really smooth for some reason. Um, as I look at the blade <clears throat> exposure and the blade gap, um, it just looks very, interesting and something that I would enjoy. So I got this during Black Friday. I'm gonna try it out today with a body soap lather, which is uh, which sounds kind of stupid, but I'm gonna try it anyways. So here we go. Let's see. <clears throat> and if this works, it means that I could use a body soap as a shape soap and I could also use an R41. So let's see how it goes. Here we go. Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> as I start off, it starts off kind of bubbly, but I think as I mix it in, it, it really takes form. <clears throat> yeah, look at that. That's not too bad. <clears throat> Mm. 
Mm-hmm. It's definitely not a dense soap. Don't get me wrong. As you can see, it's a little bubbly, but it's actually super slick. When, when I was uh, rinsing my hand off, um, yeah, it just kept, kept the slickness. So, as you can see, it's a bit dissipating, <clears throat> but I think it's gonna do well. So here we go, let's see how it goes. With the R41, loaded with a Astro Green for its first use. The handle might be a bit slippery since it doesn't have any knurling, but uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Here we go. <clears throat> first pass through, first use with the green. I already see that, I already feel the leather bubbling, but uh, let's go. Providing a slickness. And as I thought, this is super smooth. I'm liking it. <laughs> I'm enjoying these lasers with more blade feel. And oh, I thought I caught myself right there. I am, uh, I'm not paying attention. That only has blade feel. Mm. Struggling a bit. <clears throat> and the lather is not ideal, but has good residual slickness. I wouldn't say this is the smoothest razor out there, but uh, it does its job. I thought I cut myself here, but I don't see any blood. So that's good. Decent first pass. Not bad at all. There we go, let me rinse up. Go for a second. Yeah, that, there's tons of residual slickness right here. Like, that's the thing with bad silks. If you guys can see, there's like white residues left over. And this is like, it is ton of residual slickness. Way more than what I expected. <clears throat> and it's not drying out, drying out my skin so far. So let's see how it goes. We got more bubbly lather here. <laughs> Honestly, in a pinch, I could use this as a shave soap any day. It works. It's just slick. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Second pass through. Across the green. And the handle... It's not giving me too much trouble.
Gotta make sure I don't get any lather on the handle. Not bad so far. Now, I don't think... Oh, a little bump right there. I don't think this hand and body soap is moisturizing. But... From what I can tell, it's not too drying, so kind of in the middle, neutral for me. I could definitely feel the blade and it's doing good so far. There's barely any leather there, but it's still good residual slickness. more water to the neck. It's a slight skipping right there, but not too bad. And that is doing some good cutting down there. All right, pretty good second pass, no blood. Let's uh, go for a cleanup. Still a ton of residual slickness left. And I don't recommend you guys try this out, but if you're interested, I think it could work. <coughs> uh, a bit more watery lather. I'm just gonna mix it in the bowl just to Make it a bit more, I don't know, creamy, worked in. <clears throat> and let me just use that. There's still a lot of, a lot in the bowl left. So, let's try this out. Doesn't look too bad, but uh, it does slowly dissipate over time. All right, last pass, clean up pass, here we go. <clears throat> so this is definitely one of the most aggressive razors that I have. But it's not crazy aggressive. <clears throat> Alright. A little bit right there. Alright, that's pretty smooth. And just uh rinse up. A little bit of skin stretch. Going against the grain with the R41. Yeah, I can definitely feel it. Don't want to push it too far, but still 
want to go for BDS today. Water. Almost there. is a BBS shave right there. Good stuff. All right, let me rinse up. Excellent shave today. I don't feel much irritation. See, there might be some sting with the album block, but as you can see, just a smooth shape. I know there's a little bump right there, but just a smooth failing shave. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let me uh, rinse up with some fresh water. <clears throat> Get some of that alum. See how that stings. Here we go. Oh, okay. Not much on the mustache. A little bit on the chin. A little bit on the neck. I expected a bit more sting than what I got, so a little better result than I expected. All right, not bad at all. And as for the app, yeah, as for the aftershave, we'll be going with a, a new one, a sample that I haven't tried out, but it was graciously. Um, I want to give away from Captain's Choice. And this is their one of their newest aftershave, uh, Land Ho aftershave. So I'm just gonna rinse quickly with cold water. And try this out. Now this has a, a lot more alcohol than alcohol scent to it. It's kind of clean, um, fresh, a little bit fougere like, but it's a lot more clean than uh, the normal fougere that I've smelled. So let's try this out. Okay, that might be too much. No, that wasn't too much at all. But a good amount. Let's see how it goes. It's pretty clean. I like it. <laughs> but to be honest, the scent, I think there's a lot of alcohol in here, or at least I get the scent of alcohol the most. So it reminds me of like a, like a dentist office or something like that. <laughs> but I do get that clean, a little green, scent after so it's pretty nice all right excellent shave today uh i've had tried out some new products captain's choice aftershave land ho and uh, it was pretty good the craving shaving brush with barrister man hand and body soap it worked the lather is not optimal uh, it's kind of bubbly it dissipates a bit but it provides an excellent sleekness for a Excellent shave. I've shaved off the three-day growth with R Mula, Mula R41 or R102, um, paired with the Astro Green Blade. Did a fantastic job. It has a good amount of blade feel. I would say high amount of blade feel. Um, but um, yeah, it's not the smoothest razor out there, but I think it does the job. 
And if you're looking for an efficient option, this might be the one for you. Uh, yeah, not bad result. So I'll leave you guys at that. I'm going to be trying out more stuff. I've gotten uh, one more mail call that I haven't shown you guys, but I'm going to be featuring those products in the later videos. Thank you guys for watching. This is Tim Shade, and I'll see you guys uh, next time. See ya.